Today in Minneapolis, a group of high school students took to the streets to share a message. For the past year, they have been dealing with a lot of emotions and trauma. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, they are now using those feelings to bring about some positive change in their community. Okay. Y'all ready? We demand equity! It's important to come from youth because we are the next generation. If we're not doing it, then nobody else will. And so they hit the pavement. Students from De La Salle's newly formed Black Student Union led the way. This is what the people look like. And others followed. This is what the people look like. So since George Floyd's murder, I've been trying to educate myself more on this. And the phrase white silence is violence really stood out to me. The students left their high school right here in the heart of downtown Minneapolis and walked four miles south to the George Floyd Memorial. This is what change looks like. They marched to make a point. The death of George Floyd, that wasn't the first time that something like that happened. That's just the time that it's been recognized. That's the time that it's been recorded and documented for people to see so that it can't be ignored anymore. Umar and Hailu lives just two blocks from where George Floyd died. Ever since then, it's been pretty traumatizing. And I think not just for me or my family, but everyone in the neighborhood. Traumatized by George's murder and the city's surging crime. Like, for example, like my brother, if he hears any gunshots or any fireworks or anything like that, just because he's scared of guns and like violence, he has to come to my room and sleep with me at night. Living in a neighborhood where a lot of violence does happen, you do have to think about all the situations you're in. Because my mom always says to me, if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, anything can happen. We need to figure out what's happening. Why are there, you know, high crime rates? I don't think it's that hard to uh, get to the bottom of what's been going on and find the source of the problem. So they are walking in hopes of getting attention from lawmakers and everyone else, too. We can't rewrite history, so we just have to keep moving forward from today. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News.